Hello driver, so today I'm going to put on a, or replace a CV axle and a Mitsubishi passenger side. I'm going to show you step by step how to replace a CV axle. So as usual, always remember to spray your bolts. And this is a CV axle nut, so you want to spray this. Meanwhile, you're taking off the wheel. Okay. So what you want to do, you want to jack up the passenger side high enough. Make sure it's on the, off the ground. So just before you take off the wheel, you want to unscrew the CV axle nut first. Okay. So if you don't have a gun like this, a portable gun, you need to have a breaker bar. Okay, you need to have a breaker bar to take off the CV axle nut. You just gonna get the right size, hold it. Make sure they with the tire on the ground for the pressure. And then that's it. After that, you want to make sure to take off back the wheel and put it underneath the lower control arm for safety. The next thing you want to do, you want to take out the other tie rods. So you want to spray this up too. You're going to need a pliers like this to take out your, your, your wiring for the other tie rod screw. Okay, so to take out the other tire, you need a hammer. If you don't have a special tool, you need a hammer. Just knock it around like this. Just keep knocking until it drops right out. So after you use you, you I mean you loosen your outer tire rod, you want to take off the CV nut. Gonna knock it in all the way until it can't go any further. So what happened is that you don't want to waste no time. So some cars may be easy, some cars hard. The next thing you to do is to do is take off the lower control arm. Okay, that means you could pull the spindle right out, and then you yank the CV axle out. I'll show you to do that. But we gotta take off this nut first from the lower control arm. So for the CV axle, just remember to tell you, you're going to need a crowbar, you, need, you definitely want one of these, and maybe a smaller crowbar, okay? What you also want to do, you want to turn it the other side, to take out the, other, to take out the, the, the next side of the nut. So what you want to do, you find yourself not out of a hard time, just use a hammer, knock it out like this, easy, don't, but don't knock it too hard, because you don't want to spoil the arm screw, and that's it. After that, you use a crowbar and prise it out. You're going to prise it out until the spin will come right out. So what I did, I put the crowbar, crowbar, crowbar right underneath the spindle and between the lower control arm and just prise it out. Okay, so I'm having a hard time doing it that way. So now we got to remove the sway bar link. We got to remove this and hopefully, if we get, hopefully we can get enough play, then we can prise up the spindle. Okay, so 
I take off the screw of the sway bar link so right now still having a hard time so now I have to uh, unscrew these not all the way but just unscrew these at least I have enough playing the control arm to pull up the spindle okay so you want to just unscrew these just a little bit don't take it all the way out because it don't make no sense they got to put it back up you want to just get this as you can see right now this I'm playing it so I'm gonna push it down drop it out and then I should be able to remove the spindle or take it up also remember when you take out your screw you want to put them together you don't want to misplace these these are the screws that you know connect the the lower control arms okay so the next step we're gonna do is to take out the CV axle you don't need to pound this out if you want to go to the transmission part to yank it out first okay so that's the cv axle right into the transmission we're going to use a crowbar and put between here and yank it out or prise it out and usually the reason why you change these axles because sometimes it's clicking or is the rubber leaking my one is leaking and it have a small clicking inside the boot right here so i just change it okay just remember for safety you want to keep the tire close to you underneath the underneath here for safety you want to go ahead and spray between the transmission and the axle itself so the crowbar is right between the axle and the transmission and you want to hold it and prise it out okay Okay, so the best thing we're going to do, I was trying to leave this first, but we're going to take out this first. Take out this first and then remove the CV axle. Make it easier for us, alright? So we're just going to pound this out. Okay, I couldn't show you that much underneath the car, but when you go underneath the vehicle, the muffler is is in the front, so you gotta be careful. I don't go in the front. I gotta I gotta go behind it. I gotta go behind it and knock this out like this. Okay, until it get knocked out. Car didn't want to destroy the muffler. All right, and this is why I gotta change it, as you can see. Let's break. See? So I gotta change it. This will be the new muffler. Sorry, not new muffler, excuse me. New CV axle. <laughs> okay. So this inner part gonna go inside the transmission, okay? That inner part I show you, gonna go in here. You wanna shove it and make sure it lock on the ring right here. See this ring? You wanna shove it and make sure it lock. Okay. So what you wanna do, you wanna rack it, rack it and push it in till you click. And that means you're good to go. And then you can pull it out like this. Try to pull it out. Once it's out to pull, you know you're good. So the next step you do, after you do that, you want to now put the, this CV axle part inside the spindle. Make sure push this all the way in to layer it knock. Put on your new screw, but don't tighten this as yet. 
remember you want to put back your lower control arm make sure you put back those screw that you take out so for the control arm you want to knock you want to knock the seam because of the tension you want to knock it all the way up until it go up remember your sway ball link you want to screw this back on Remember you order the tie rod. I want to screw this back on. And after that now, now we're going to Make sure screw this on. This definitely you want to screw tight enough because that's a CV hagsaw. Remember your washer. You want to make sure you put on your washer. And you know not. And I would I would use a portable gun for this. Uh, you want to make sure you get a. So. So what we're going to do now, we're going to tighten back the control arms. Remember those, those are safety. Those two screws we got to loosen up before we take out the CV axle. And then make sure everything is tightened on the outer tie rod. And the last thing we're going to do, put on back the tire and tighten this. The last thing. But make sure you got to put on back the tire first before you tighten the, the nut on the CV. So remember, after you put on the wheel, you have to drop the wheel then tighten this okay if you don't drop the wheel and you tighten this this will continue just to spin okay drop the wheel tighten it okay so thank you hopefully this video help if you like it share it and you know it can help somebody else okay thank you have a, have a good day